This is the moment that changed Manuel Franco's life. 12 News obtained surveillance video from the Speedway in New Berlin on March 27th, where it took Franco only about 20 seconds to win $768 million. 12 News learned Franco worked across the street at Target and bought Powerball tickets on his way home from work. Around 2 p.m. I had left work and uh, I pretty much felt lucky. You know, it's, it's a weird lucky feeling. It's not natural, not normal at all. Call it luck or fate. Before he handed the clerk cash, he looked up at the camera. I, I honestly felt so lucky that I did look up at the camera and I really wanted to wink at it because I, I just had that lucky feeling. And I... Franco didn't even check his tickets until after work the next day. When he realized it was sold in Wisconsin, he thought maybe he had a chance. And I see that second number and my heart starts to, to pump and whatnot. And at that moment, I'm like, no, no freaking way. We all dream of winning the lottery. But for this West Allis man who struggled to keep a thousand bucks in his bank account, his dream came true right here. It was amazing. My heart started racing, blood pumping, it, my blood felt warm. I screamed for about five or 10 minutes. After Franco realized he won the Powerball from this speedway here, he actually returned to work at Target for two days and then quit. We don't know where he is right now, but hopefully he's living his best life. In New Berlin, I'm Hillary Mintz, WISN 12 News. The Powerball jackpot has been climbing since his big win. Tomorrow night's drawing is worth an estimated $199 million. Breaking news just into the newsroom tonight. The Milwaukee County Medical Examiner says they've identified the body of a female found badly burned in a garage. Firefighters discovered the body Wednesday morning at 15th and Burleigh. The ME put out a description earlier today asking for the public's help. Within the last hour, they tell us they believe it is a 25-year-old from Milwaukee, but a positive identification is still pending. Right now, we're about two hours away from Game 3 between the Milwaukee Bucks and Boston Celtics in the Eastern Conference semifinals. The series now shifts to Boston. Milwaukee picked up one win and lost one game there during the regular season. Bucks star Giannis Antetokounmpo says the team is ready. We were able to win a game in the regular season, a little place, so, you know, that gives us a little bit of, uh, you know, put us in a, in a good place, you know, mentally. And uh, of course, you know, after the game that we uh, just played, you know, we got to carry over, you know, the, our momentum and the way we played. And um, hopefully we can play with the same effort and, you know, have energy and hopefully we can get a game. Bango and other members of the Bucks join riders on the hop for a special prize giveaway. The team gave away three pair of playoff tickets to some lucky fans. For fans who didn't win the tickets, Sheldon Dutez found out no one went home empty-handed. Tell us about the gifts that you got. The Bucks here, the gear up, the belts here. We have the t-shirt. And I got my sunglasses. And we are ready for Gear it up. <laughs> Today's up. fan giveaway started at around 11 a.m. and ran until 1 o'clock. Lucky ticket winners will get to watch Game 5 when the series returns to Milwaukee. 12 News investigates one of the riskiest jobs firefighters encounter is a call to a historic building. This is where the fire was running at the Trinity fire a year ago and just traveled through here. And obviously you can't get water in here until the fire breaks out. Tonight, Milwaukee firefighters show us the places that cause the most concern. But if you're crawling around in a fire situation, uh, there's significant risk involved here. So just while, due to the design of this old building. And, and yes, it's something they encounter time after time in an old city like Milwaukee. Tonight at 10, they share their fears, how they prepare and the lessons they've learned. Well, a duck rescue caught on camera. How a good Samaritan brought a mother duck and her duckling safely across the street. And of course, we continue to follow breaking news tonight. A fatal motorcycle crash shuts down the interstate right in the height of Russia. Or this is a live picture from News Chopper 12 over the scene at I-94 and Highway 100. The interstate is expected to be closed for two hours while investigators work on that scene.
We continue to follow that breaking news. Matt Salemi above 94 and Highway 100 where the eastbound lanes are closed because of a fatal motorcycle crash. Matt. And you can see the motorcycle still laying on its side. The accident reconstruction crew is still working the scene right now. They're taking some measurements here on the ramp from Highway 100 to eastbound 94. That's where this all occurred. The motorcycle, as you can see, came to a rest right where uh, the uh, ramp merges back in. And it looks to us like the uh, rider struck the wall somewhere here in this area. And the, earlier there was a helmet and an ambulance down on the I-94 eastbound lanes, indicating that the rider went over the wall and crashed down onto the freeway below. They still have everything shut down. Everybody's being forced off of the freeway here uh, at Highway 100. And it's a lot of traffic funneling down to one lane. You can see four lanes funneling down to one. The delays have actually improved a little bit, but they still go all the way back past Moreland Road, Patrick. And Matt, here's another look at that backup. We have the traffic map up here and you can see it begins to slow down right here in Brookfield. The area in purple, this is the area that Matt was just showing that is shut down from the area near Moreland Road all the way into the zoo interchange. There is a Brewers game. First pitch is at 710 tonight, so we're going to zoom into the stadium. You can see eastbound traffic is moving right along. That's because people are being diverted off the interstate just west of there. Uh, there is a little bit of a slowdown, though, on westbound 94 heading through the zoo or through the stadium interchange. Wall Street ended the week with some big gains. The Dow added nearly 200 points today. The Nasdaq rose 127. The S&P is up 28. The gains are due to today's good jobs report. The nation's unemployment rate is now at its best level since December of 1969. The Labor Department said unemployment was at 3.6% last month. The economy added 263,000 jobs. That's more than expected. The number of jobs has now grown for 103 months. In a row. Well, let's go to the newsroom now. Joyce is there with a look at some of the stories you'll see new tonight at 6. Patrick, coming up at 6, an Elm Grove paramedic accused of showing up to a training session drunk and armed with a loaded handgun. <laughs> Only on 12, the dash cam and police video that shows him so drunk he couldn't find his own car in front of his face. And 12 News got a sneak peek at the new elephant exhibit at the Milwaukee County Zoo when it's opening up for the public. It's all brand new, so keep it right here after World News Tonight. Coming up tonight at 6. We'll see you then. We're finally getting a break from the rain, but... <laughs> <laughs> but! There's always a but there's lately with this. There's always a but. The clouds right. have returned. They won't last. That's the, there's there's the, the other but. See the That's positive. The but. Look at what? the positive. Whoa. <laughs> Go to Mark. Just thank you. <laughs> yes, it is. It is good to talk about the fact that we have the weather coinciding nicely with the weekend, the nice weather. Yes, right now you look outside, and you're like, this is not nice. That's a huge tent out of Cathedral Square. That's for the 175th anniversary celebration of the Archdiocese uh, happening this weekend. And weather will cooperate for that. Sheboygan, we go out doing a little fishing there on the pier. And uh, water is nice and quiet. Brady Street, you can get out and about this weekend. I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of people there. 46 degrees for this weekend because our weather is going to be so nice. Temperatures a little cooler near the lake, just 43 in Racine, 50 in Waukesha, 56 degrees in Madison, everybody covered with clouds. Here's the deal you need. I'm imploring you, begging you get outside this weekend because we suffered through four horrible days in a row, and this is why you'll want to get outside. There's also another reason 62 on Saturday, 70 on Sunday. I think the rain holds off until late Sunday evening, but here's your warning. Next week, you remember what it was like all this week? I think we get a repeat performance. So cloudy, rainy, cold, and nasty. You need to mow your grass this weekend. It's growing like crazy right now. It's green light on Saturday and Sunday, and then the rain returns on Monday. I know it's soggy right now, but you need to get out there. The satellite really told a lot of different stories today. So watch as we bring in this additional cloud cover. We take you all the way back into the morning, and there were more clouds inland today than there were near the lakeshore. Watch how this happens. That was the fog this morning. Then all the clouds developed, but not near the lake because it was much cooler near the lake, so the air wasn't rising. It was warming up faster inland. The air was rising there, so you get the clouds to form. But the cold lake sometimes actually brings us more sunshine right along the lake shore, even though the temperatures are chillier. So let's go into future cast. I think we keep the rain away for tonight, uh, and then we clear it out. Here's the thing. Tomorrow, it's a beauty. Enjoy it. Sunday. It's a beauty. Enjoy it. So we at least get through the majority of the day on Sunday with sunshine. Late in the day, you see some of those clouds moving in. I think the better chances of showers are going to hold off until late in the evening. 62 and 70. I just want to quit right here. I don't want you to look at anything else. 62 and 70. But all right, if you want to know about next week, here's the thing.
Pair of 55s on Monday and Tuesday with showers and 52 for a high on Wednesday and on Thursday. A little chilly on Friday, but at least the rain comes to an end. 50 degrees, so it's really almost a duplication of last week where we go from having a decent day last Sunday to what we're going to get for four days in a row with rain. Mm -hmm. But the weekend is nice. There you go. We'll focus on that. That's right. There you go. Thank Great. you, Mark. That's awesome. A duck rescue captured on camera. The busy Milwaukee intersection where a good Samaritan ushered these ducks to safety. A good Samaritan saved a mother duck and her ducklings. It happened Monday at Oakland in Kenwood near UW-Milwaukee. A Milwaukee County Transit bus camera captured the rescue here. You see the man usher the duck family through the busy intersection and then up onto the sidewalk. Well, we've been talking about it all afternoon. A bad crash shuts down a Milwaukee interstate. As we continue to follow breaking news, we'll check back in and give you an update on what's happening out there on I-94.